Burien now requiring large grocery stores, Safeway, Fred Meyer, and PCC, to name a few, to pay an additional $5 per hour in hazard pay to all employees. This is a, uh, a particular industry and business that's profited because of the pandemic, uh, not just during the pandemic, but because of it. UFCW, a grocery workers union, lobbied for the bill in Burien and a similar bill in Seattle. February 3rd, Seattle's council implemented a $4 an hour hazard pay bonus. And just this week, QFC, who's owned by Kroger, responded by announcing the closure of two stores, one on Capitol Hill, the other in Wedgwood. What is the reality of working in a grocery store right now? Everything is tense. Every day you don't know if it's going to be the day you get infected. This woman works at one of those two locations and wants to remain anonymous. Honestly, for me, it just feels like it's just the way it's always been. You know, corporations are more important than their employees. QFC says the two stores were already underperforming and this new hazard pay legislation was the deciding factor. This was a 22% increase in operating costs, and those two stores were already operating in the red, so it just was a decision we had to make, unfortunately. As for Burien, the new legislation applies to stores with more than 250 employees, a new hazard pay requirement that'll stay in play as long as the governor's state of emergency declaration is in effect. In Burien, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.